you hear that Sonic tried to open a portal to oblivion? Please, listen to me for just a moment. It's very important. Doom has come to Craglorn. The stars have vanished from the sky. Will no one listen? Will no one help? I'm an initiate in the Order of Stargazers. We study the stars and their influence on Tamriel. Not long ago, we noticed irregularities in three of the star signs. Shortly thereafter, strange armies overran Craglorn. One of our order, Hara, is leading our efforts to stop these attacks. But we are not warriors. This cart will take you to Belkarth in Craglorn, where you can speak to her personally. Please, help us. me stuck into the worlds of those stargazers until I saw my first sand giant. It cut a horse in half. I haven't run so fast since I was stealing meat on the streets of Riften. Now we're all listening a bit more closely. Everyone is these days. Funny how a few months ago, we were just a bunch of star-obsessed loonies. Now, they're the only folks with any idea what's going on. Their observatory is up on top of that big hill there. Can't miss it. Speak quickly. I am very busy and our order is stretched to the breaking point. Of course. I'm sorry. You've come to help us and I'm being rude. Then I'll start from the beginning. A short while ago, the three guardian star signs, the warrior, the mage, and the thief, vanished from the night sky. I wish I knew. I've studied the stars my whole life. I've heard them speak, but now they're silent. It's eerie. All I know is when the Guardians disappeared, three powerful beings started attacking Craglorn. They call themselves the Celestials. I don't know. It's not a name I'd ever heard before. Two of the Celestials identify themselves as the Warrior and the Mage. The third, strangely, calls himself the Serpent, after the 13th constellation. The Thief is nowhere to be found. Stargazers consists of scholars who are no match for the current threat. We need champions to face the Warrior, the Mage, and the Serpent, and, if possible, to find the Thief. Join us. 
be our strong arm, our sharp sword against the Celestials. Thank you. We have a lot of work to do. But first, you must become an official member of our Order. Enter the Circle of Stars and accept our blessing. Stars above, let this new light do your will. Accept, Accept them, 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 O stars. stars. Let them always follow where you lead. Oh, oh please, please aid, aid them. them. And bless them to restore those who have fallen from glory. Our missing guardians. Oh, oh please, please bless, bless them. them. We must talk. Do not be afraid. I am a friend. Forgive me. I did not know any other way to contact you without revealing myself. Even now, the Serpent's followers, the Scaled Court, are searching for me. I am the Celestial Thief. I appeared with the other Guardians when the Serpent broke free and manifested in Tamriel. One by one, the Serpent trapped the others. First the warrior, then the mage. He wants to do the same to me. Yes, they attack Kraglorn against their will. Listen, the serpent's nature is chaos. He wants to undermine the very order of reality. He will not stop with Kraglorn. My power alone is not enough. You must free the other Guardians. I will help you as much as I dare, but the Serpent is looking for me. If he ensnares me as he has the others, all is lost. Hara and the Stargazers will help you. Use their knowledge. Look for the presence of the Scaled Court. Where they are, the Serpent is surely at work. But you must not tell anyone you saw me. The Serpent's followers are everywhere. In a way, just as you might look at a picture of the star signs and say, that's the thief, or that's the warrior, just so, I'm the thief, or one way of seeing the thief. Of the Twelve Rightful Star Signs, it's the Guardian's duty to protect the Lesser Signs, our charges, against the destructive ways of the Serpent. With the Warrior and Mage under the Serpent's control, their charges are vulnerable. So is Tamria. It would be surprising if I didn't. The Stargazers are only dimly aware of it, but they carry an ancient legacy as students of the Star Signs. Their devotion has not gone unnoticed. You have been accepted by the stars above. You are now one of us. The stars have accepted you. I just hope it is not too late. Volumes of prophecy have been written about the stars, but not even the oracles foresaw these events. Gather allies before you leave the city. You'll need loyal friends to face the armies of the warrior, the mage, and the serpent. Return to me each time you learn something new. I will use what you learn to devise a plan to defeat the Celestials. It appears that the Serpent has gathered the bulk of his forces in the mountainous region to the north and sealed himself within. So much the better. That gives us a chance to learn what we can about this threat and plan a defense.
Tradition holds that the warrior is one of the guardians who defends the other stars against the serpent. But the warrior celestial who has recently appeared is no friend. He commands a merciless army of ancient Yokudan warriors called the Ankara. All I know is they are ancient and dangerous. I've heard intriguing rumors from the Daggerfall Covenant outpost to the west of a champion who appeared about the same time as the Ankara. That may be a good place to start looking for answers. One of our number, Erald, has been examining old Nedic writings on the subject. He hopes to find insight into the Celestial's sudden appearance. Erald is smart, but he's not exactly battle-hardened. I'd be grateful if you'd help him. Tradition holds that the mage, the warrior, and the thief are the guardian star signs. But the magical events in the foothills of Craglorn, including an ever-growing army of Atronox, suggest that the mage has fallen under the serpent's control. The Atronox were originally summoned by a circle of conjurers from the city of Elenhir to defend Craglorn against the Dark Anchors. But it's clear they're answering to another master now. And, if anything, their numbers are growing. I'm at a loss. The conjurers who summoned the Atronox have disappeared. But since the Atronox were summoned to defeat the Dark Anchors, perhaps the Dolmens hold a clue. Strange things. Difficult to describe. A large spell scar in the middle of the desert. And the appearance of two high elves in Belkarth, each claiming to be the mage herself. It's as if the mage tried to fight back against the serpent and lost. I wouldn't rule it out, but I haven't had time to look into their claims. You're free to investigate, but be wary of a trap. The serpent could simply be baiting us. Last I heard, the women were still at the Crossroads Tavern here in Belkarth. Help! Please! Many lives are at stake! Please, you must help! There was a terrible accident. My colleague is in grave danger. My colleague, Kelman Locke, with sorcerers he leads my circle, or, or led I. We sought to shatter a dark anchor at its base, to show the Fighters Guild we can do it more efficiently, so we traveled to the Proving Grounds Dolmen, but our plan went horribly awry. The Circle summoned Atronax to destroy the dark anchor. Instead, they turned on the Circle. One of the Celestials must have caused it. I'm no conjurer. I wasn't next to the summoning when it happened. It's the only reason I escaped to seek help. quick and stay quiet. It's the only certain way to remain alive. Friend of the stargazers, look at this place. Here, the mages of Craglorn fended off the Prince of Schemes and his dark anchors. But the sweet taste of victory quickly turned bitter. The mages called on the power of the Celestial Mage. They summoned ancient and powerful Atronox to defeat the Dark Anchors and battle Molag Bal. But as soon as the Dark Anchors were defeated, the Atronox turned against Craglorn. That's what I need you to learn. 
A conjurer named Kelman Locke was present when the Atronachs were first summoned. When they turned, his fellow summoners were killed. He was the only one to escape, and I fear he is in grave danger. Hurry. If Kelman is lost to the Serpent, so too are our chances to understand why the Atronox turned. Unless you are here to free me, I will have none of you! I'm no phantom, Kelman Locke. I am the Celestial Thief, and you know why I am here. Just another bandit, then? I've already been robbed blind. There's nothing more to take from me. The Atronox. The Celestial Maid showed you how to summon them in a dream. Do you remember? Why have they turned against Craglorn? Oh no. No more celestial mages and serpents. I've had enough of all that. I saw what happened to the others and that won't happen to me. Who are you? Are you in league with this thief? I demand that you free me immediately. The Atronox? I don't care to think about those creatures. One moment we were summoning them and destroying the Dark Anchors, and the next they turned on us like ungrateful dogs! It was terrible. A giant spectral serpent appeared at the summoning site. We sent the Atronox against it, but they refused to obey us. They killed the others. Coward that I am, I fled. But then I was captured by these common rogues. I don't know. But I think I know how to find out. We need to talk to the Atronox directly and ask them what happened. The first Atronox we summoned were ancient. They could communicate to some extent. They didn't speak, but we heard them in our minds. They commanded the others, and we controlled them. With a gem we saw in a dream. The Gem of Celestial Command. Well, as it happens, that's the one thing the bandits didn't get their hands on. I was able to keep it hidden. Don't ask. Take it. Find the storm, fire, and frost monarchs, and use the gem to bind them. You'll probably have to fight them first. Go to the summoning site, and use the gem to call on the monarchs. I'll meet you there. They might be more favorable to me. Or maybe not. But now I've helped you. Will you release me?
Use the gem on each stone focus to summon the Atronox. The mage. She created us, imbued us with thought. But she has fallen, corrupted by the serpent who crawls on his belly. You mean the celestial mage? The serpent controls the mage? How is that possible? Trickery, deceit. And once he controlled her, he turned her power against us and enslaved us. Why go to all this trouble? Because that is what the Serpent does. He has used the mage to create a new monarch. One with all of our powers. One made of pure air. Where can we find this new monarch? We do not know. All we remember is a name. Balamath. Balamath? I know that place. It's an alien ruin. Uh, thank you. You are dismissed. Defeat the Serpent's abomination. Defeat the Monarch of Air, and we will tell our master of your kindness. Well, good luck with that. As for me, I think I'll keep my distance. I've had more than enough excitement in recent weeks, thank you very much. unsettling the way you pop in and out like that I wouldn't be a very good thief if I couldn't come and go as I please well I've done what you ask of me are you satisfied you have done well and I appreciate your efforts thanks to you the stargazers now understand the nature of the Atronach threat and how to stop it I suppose I should thank you. 
I couldn't have bound the Atronox or defeated the Air Monarch on my own. I'm sure this isn't the end of the Serpent's mad plans, but I'd wager this sets him back for a while. Listen, I know I've been a spineless lout, but I'm grateful for this. When we summoned those Atronox, we never imagined they'd be turned against Craglorn. If I can ever repay the favor, let me know. He fell right out of the sky, like a bare-arsed comet. You're here to laugh at me as well? I saw what I saw. He was naked as the full moons in a cloudless sky. Dragon Star Arena, where I lost everything? A sure win, they said. Only fools wouldn't bet, they said. Then that bare-arsed imbecile dropped out of nowhere and threw the match. Out of thin air shouting nonsense about defeating the Ankara. The guard took him to Bankarai Gate, if you're headed that way. He's the indecent Imperial going on about celestial this and that. If you see him, tell him he owes me a thousand gold. Another one, eh? Come to gawk at Titus the Mad? Well, I'm not insane, no matter what you may have heard. And I might be your only hope to defeat the Ankara. The Ankara, the cursed Yokudan army that has invaded Kraglorn. They serve the Celestial Warrior, but their true master is their general, a man of unmatched cruelty named Tarash Z. I can help defeat him and the Ankara, if you'll only listen. Call me Titus. It's a long story, but I'm familiar with Tarashi and his army of Ankara. Centuries ago, they were part of the Ragada, the Yakudan invasion force that subdued and conquered Kraglorn. But Tarashi and his army were among the worst. Undead? Huh. <laughs> These are no rotting Draugr or mindless skeletons. But it's true. They can't hardly be called living, either. Untie these bonds and help me stop them. I'll tell you what I can when I'm free. It'd be an amusing story if the situation weren't so dire. An unseen force pulled me from my time into yours, and drop me in the midst of Dragonstar's grand melee, stark naked. I won, naturally. Then the soldiers arrested me, just as naturally. We're all from the past. I'm just from farther past. I can explain better what's going on if you free me and help me stop Tarish Z and the Ankara. And maybe find me some clothes as well? Thank you. You are a noble soul. Perhaps you'll actually believe my extraordinary tale when there is time to tell it. But first, meet me at the cave called Buried Sands. If my suspicions are correct, we'll find something we need there.
Ah, oh, that'll be sore tomorrow. Let's get away from here before we're seen. I'll try to grab some proper clothes and a weapon. Meet me at the cave known as Buried Sands. There's something I have to retrieve there. I'll explain more when you arrive. You made it. Good. There's an ancient burial chamber at the rear of this cave. That's where we need to go. The Ankara. The self-proclaimed Emperor Tarish Z's personal army. Each warrior pledged eternal loyalty to the Emperor. The cursed form they wear is the mark of their servitude. from beneath the sands, it can only mean that Tarash Z has returned as well. They are bound to him, you see. They rise to his call. Once he ruled these lands, he will seek to do so again. I'm right, one of the seals. to the chamber. Follow me. This is it. The tomb I spoke of. My tomb. A resting place of great honor granted to me by Tarish Z himself. You see... I am not of this time. Centuries ago, I sought to end the reign of the self-proclaimed Emperor Tarish Z by working secretly from within his royal guard. The presence of this tomb means that I failed in my mission. Witness, my remains beside a royal seal. The seal is what we are seeking. It's one of the keys needed to enter Tarish Z's crypt. The last thing I remember before appearing in this time was the sound of a battle horn. Then I heard the voice of the one you call the Celestial Warrior. Tarish Z must have heard the same call. It is why we have appeared in this time. Ah, much better. There are two more seals to recover, two more tombs of the Royal Guard. The vanity of Tarash Z will serve us well. He had scribes record every conquest, every monument. They will have written about the burial places of all his retainers. In my time, a great library existed in a place called Ranizah. If it's still there, the information we need could be inside. Think on what I've told you. If you decide to believe my tale, meet me at the library.
The tome should be here somewhere. Tarash Z would have wanted everyone to know of his glorious deeds. Wait, that's it! Let me see that! Riza and Tommen. I know you must be mentioned in here. Ah, here it is! Both were granted personal burial chambers near the falls to the north. I pray the entrances have not been buried. We should split up to save time. You find Riza and Tommen's tombs, and retrieve their royal seals. I'll go to Tarish Z's crypt and scout it out. We need to know what we're facing. When you have the seals, meet me at the crypt. With luck, we can catch Tarish Z unawares. Good luck. I'll see you soon. Forgive me. Forgive us all. We are slaves to a vile serpent. Take mercy on us and end our unnatural existence.
Ah, you made it. Good. And with the seals too, I see. Then we're ready to proceed. The ward is magical in nature. As long as we have the three seals within its vicinity, the door should freely open to us. Follow me, but stay alert. Did you think you could escape this fate, false emperor? Even across the eons, I will find you. And my blade is as sharp as ever. Praise Akatosh! Find me there if you wish to speak. And well fought. Listen closely. You were right to help Titus. Had Taurus Z been able to gather his forces, there would have been nothing you could do to stop them. Each Celestial possesses an unusual gift. The Warrior's gift is to call heroes across time. It seems the Serpent perverted the Warrior's gift, using it to awaken the villainous Tarash Z and his cursed army, the Ankara. My guess is that as one of Tarash Z's royal guard, he was summoned at the same time as the others yet he was unaffected by the Serpent's manipulations. Perhaps because he was never truly loyal to Taurus Z. See that Titus makes it to Belkarth. The Stargazers will give him refuge. I feel he may still have a part to play in our struggle. Continue to work with Hara of the Stargazers. I will reach out to you again when it is safe to do so. Excuse me. Hara says you've joined our number. That's very exciting, because I believe I've discovered something that could help us understand who or what the Celestials really are. Certain Nidic writings suggest this isn't the first time the Celestials have appeared in Kraglorn. They're legends mostly, but there's truth in them. They describe apex stones that connect the Celestials to Tamriel in some fashion. I believe I know the location of the warrior's apex stone. It's written, In Kardala, the warrior waits. But the way is sealed. We need a Nidic high priest's amulet to enter. Unfortunately, the needs disappeared centuries ago. Go to the ruin of Shadas Tyr. 
the site of an ancient needed temple. I'm confident we can find the amulet we need there. But be wary. Wards protect the place, and I've heard that vicious goblins roam the upper levels. We don't know a lot about them. They were an early race who settled in Craglorn. What history we do know tells a tale of enslavement and invasion. The Dwemer, the Aliens, and finally, the Yakudans. All had their way with the needs. Needic writings talk about the Apex Stones in a variety of ways, but they all agree that there is a connection between the stars and these stones. If we can understand that connection, perhaps we can find out how to stop the Celestials. Listen closely. I can't appear for long, or the enemy will see. Erald means well, but he can't accomplish the task ahead. You must do this. The relic you hold is called the Skystone Amulet. It will grant you access to the warrior's apex stone, but it is capable of so much more. Go to the Munda stones of the Lord, the Lady, and the Steed. These are the warrior's charges, whom he has sworn to protect. The Skystone Amulet was designed to capture the ethereal energy of the Munda Stones. You will need that energy for the task ahead. I'm sorry I can't tell you more. I've already stayed too long. Good. You've made it to the first stone, and the amulet is working. I don't have much time, so listen carefully. The serpent betrayed us. He poisoned the warrior's mind and turned him against us. But my hope is that the ethereal energy from the Munda stones will allow us to weaken the serpent's grip on the warrior. You have the ethereal power of another of the warrior's charges. Good. The Serpent's followers, the Scaled Court, range all across Craglorn. They found the warrior's apex stone. They weakened the stone with foul magics. I believe that the ethereal power of the Lord, the Lady, and the Steed can restore the warrior's apex stone.
At last, the amulet contains the ethereal energy of all three of the warrior's charges. Now, hurry. The power of the Lord, the Lady, and the Steed can strengthen the warrior's apex stone and weaken the serpent's hold. Go to the ruins of Kardala, at the center point from where these stones rest. The apex stone lies within. Dala. Tread carefully. The ancient wards protecting this place may still be active. The warrior's apex stone lies within. It is crucial that you reach it. I feel the eyes of the serpent searching for us both. The Apex Stone waits beyond this door. The warrior's charges will guide your way. Last, the warrior's apex stone stands before us. I sense the serpent's power in this place. I must flee before I am ensnared as well. The sky stone amulet is charged with the ethereal power of the lord, the lady, and the steed. Use it to cleanse the apex stone of the serpent's corruption. Great warrior, I am your strength. Forsake this madness and return to health. Great warrior, I am your mercy. Forsake this madness and remember peace. Great warrior, I am your swiftness. Forsake this madness and ride against our enemy. You have purged my venom from the apex stone. Clever. Too clever for a mortal. She helped you, didn't she? I can smell her fear upon you. No matter. I will find her and consume her in time, just as I have her fellow guardians. Do not think you have succeeded here. The damage remains. The warrior has fallen from the sky and is trapped in mortal form. He is mine.
You're back! I was beginning to worry for your safety. Did you find the amulet? Tell me everything that happened. Restored the Apex Stone? Incredible! Then my predictions were more accurate than I expected, and you've done more than I could have asked. I'll keep the amulet safe here among the Stargazers for now. There may be more we can learn from it. Hello there. And this is why you should inform this Hara of yours immediately. It is urgent that we speak to her. Yes, we are Hail. wasting time repeating ourselves to a lackey. I'm trying to understand what you just told me. There are other versions of you elsewhere in Craglorn? As we explained, and with exceptional clarity, we are merely aspects of the one you call the Celestial Mage. Even as we stand here, the Serpent seeks to control us all. Even now he gathers our aspects to use as his own, assembling them into a false mage who is entirely in his control. Yes, of course. Whatever you say. Uh, I'll talk to Hara, but I can't make any promises. The constellations have disappeared from the sky, and we have other things to deal with right now. Good God, these high elves are mad. The stars shine before him, pleading for help, and he's too busy looking at the empty sky to realize it. A drink, then, to ease our patience. You, mortal servant, deliver us your finest... what's the word? Ale? Ale? But the brewer serves drinks in the other room. Did you hear that a bunch of scholars and treasure hunters were trapped in the Library of Dusk? Ah, you're here at last. Do not be confused. We foresaw your arrival. The one who has walked across the plains and faced down gods. Or do we speak of things still to come? Time is much more fluid among the stars. We are the one you call the Celestial Mage, or at least two aspects of a larger whole. The Serpent shattered us, weakened us. He plans to control us piece by piece, aspect by aspect. Hold still but a moment and we will show you. Witness the treachery of the Serpent. Win, Malazar. I am too strong for you. You underestimate me, Vala. I have more tricks at my disposal than you could ever imagine. I have drawn you out of your apex stone and made you vulnerable. I know the power you wield. I am not fool enough to try to swallow you whole, but a piece at a time. I will not let you do this. I will stop you. Protest as you will, but I am already one. Now you know what the serpent has done to us. How he split us into pieces. He intends to locate our weakened aspects and forge them into a being he can control, one poisoned by his corruption. You must find our aspects before the Serpent does. Take this relic, the Seeker's Sight. It is a compass of sorts, one that is connected to all aspects of the Mage. But like the Mage, the relic is broken. When you repair it, it will recognize our other aspects and lead you to them. When we fell from the sky, the three gems that power the Seeker's Sight were lost. You will need to retrieve these gems to make use of the relic.
Thank you. With the Seeker's sight restored, we can locate our other aspects before the Serpent takes control of them. When you finish mending the Seeker's sight, meet us at the winery outside of Belkarth. We will wait for you there. scaled one grows stronger. Another part of us has been lost. The snake eats and eats and never grows full. His hunger is endless. Our time grows short, but the mortal has returned with the seeker's sight. Then converse with our helper. If the serpent continues to feast, no power will be able to stand against him. You have restored the gems to the Seeker's sight. Good. But we are running out of time. The Scaled One has found another of our aspects. We felt her turn. He is creating a corrupted version of ourselves. And this Lost One grows ever stronger. We cannot use the Seeker's sight to find the other aspects. Not until the gems are recharged with Magicka. Until that is accomplished, the relic is useless. Without the mage to control the ebb and flow, Magicka seeps through cracks all across Craglorn. Look for places where the Magicka is so dense, you can see it and charge the gems there. Meet us at the Stargazer's Observatory when you have finished. Hara has finally agreed to see us and we will meet with her soon. Do not delay. The enemy grows strong and time is not on our side.
Scaled One craves magic, but you have stopped him from gathering it, for now. The Serpent uses these crystals to siphon the Mage's power for his own use, and to gather a stronger hold over her aspects. Now how did I know it was you who was helping the Aspects? They convinced me that they are what they say they are. The time has come to restore what was shattered and lost. I will do what I can. We can't allow the Serpent to control both the Mage and the Warrior. We need the Guardians, all three of them, if we have any hope of defeating the Serpent. This Seeker's sight they gave you, is it fully restored? Then place it within the star map and let's see what it can show us. A strange relic, this Seeker's sight. It's a compass of sorts, you say? Well, place it within the star map and let's see what happens. before the scaled one. What is that strange one over there? It's different from the others. That's the lost one. The part of us corrupted and controlled by the scaled one. Let's not concern ourselves with her just yet. The other aspects are our first priority. There. 
The other aspects, our other selves, have come into view. We must reach them before the Serpent locates them. Only once we're whole will we have the strength to face the Lost One and break the Serpent's will. The Lost One is very powerful. We will need both strength and intelligence to succeed. Right now, the important thing is to find our other aspects and prevent the Lost One from growing any stronger. According to the Seeker's sight, one hides behind what your people refer to as a dwarven contraption. The other has taken refuge in more deadly environs, among ravenous werewolves. I fear for her safety. Your judgment has served us well so far. We trust you with our lives. I believe the Scaled One hasn't located either of these aspects as of yet. But do not delay. Find them and tell them of us before the situation changes. I remember you, though we have not met. I am glad you arrived before the Scaled One. I believe this place is no longer safe. We are one and many, both. We share many things, but we cannot talk to each other, except when in each other's presence. I know I have spoken to you, but I do not know the details of those conversations. Belkarth. There is a powerful presence there, protecting it. It makes sense to hide near there, away from the Scaled One's grip, at least for now. I will find my way to them. Do not worry about me. I can reach the other aspects on my own. If you have other tasks, I suggest you hurry. The Lost One continues to grow in power.
fascinating creatures. Such uncomplicated lives. Kill or be killed. Consume or be consumed. I am aware. The lost one whom he has corrupted grows stronger. I hear her calling to me. This is why the serpent divided us. What he could not control whole, he now corrupts piece by piece. Belkar? Hmm. So I have chosen to hide near Belkar, in a place made for another. Do you have any news of the Lost One? I know that she is moving against us, but I do not perceive her actions directly. Unfortunate. We will have to find her then. I will make my way back to my other selves. Now that I know my location, it will be easy enough to find me. Watch yourself as you exit this cave. You resemble food to the residents of this place. When you finish your tasks, meet us back at this winery. We will proceed with our plan from there. it. Good. We could not proceed without you. The aspects have been gathered. It is time to confront the Lost One. We know exactly where she hides. At the beginning. At the source of our power. Thank you for returning our aspects to us. We have discussed among ourselves and concluded that the Lost One is too powerful for us to defeat. The best we can hope for is to weaken her. We were caught off guard and weakened when the Serpent divided us. He has been gathering our aspects, bringing them under his control one by one. This Lost One is more powerful even than the four of us combined. We must join with her. We may not be strong enough to defeat the Lost One in a fight, but together we can resist the Serpent's corruption. The Lost One will no longer be whole, but divided within herself. This will make her vulnerable. It will not be easy. The Lost One is powerful. You will need to engage her in battle and distract her. Unfortunately, she has anticipated this course and fled to a place of strength, our Apex Stone. The Apex Stones are what allow the Celestials to manifest in this plane. By corrupting our Apex Stone, the Serpent sought to submit our consciousness to his will and corrupt us. This is what happened to the Lost One. If you did, our full power would be released. Mundus could not withstand such force. Our Apex Stone rests in a hidden place beneath the city of Elenhir. 
Use the Seeker's site to locate it and the Lost One. We will join you when the time is right. shadow of our apex stone. Defeat the lost one and we will do the rest. Do not hold back. If you hesitate or falter, the lost one will destroy you. Have you seen the High Elves that were here by any chance? I was supposed to keep an eye on them. I only turned away for a moment and now they're gone. Oh, Horror's going to be very angry with me. Wait, they were telling the truth? I guess it makes sense. They did all look and talk the same. I must inform the Stargazers of this development. The tides may finally be turning in our favor. It is you. We must speak. At last I found you. You're needed in Belkarth at once. Hara entered her chambers at the temple with that lock fellow and the Imperial from the distant past. They haven't emerged since. I think it has something to do with the thief. Please, hurry to Belkarth. Nasdura can explain.
You're here. I'm worried about Hara. She's clearly tired, but she refuses to rest. She's going to make herself ill. Speaking of which, she wants to see you as soon as you can manage. It sounded urgent. I don't know. It was strange. Hara said something about the celestial thief and visions you've been having. I heard how the serpent corrupted the mage and the warrior. I hope the same thing doesn't happen to the thief. Oh, right. She's upstairs in her study. Those two men, Kelman and Titus, are with her. I guess she wanted to meet in private, but she said it was very important that you be there. Go on. Hara waits upstairs. Time is not on our... Ah! Ah! Hara, what's wrong? Hara, what have you done to her? Nothing. Something just came over her. Hara, uh, what can we do? He found me. You must... Who found you? Who is doing this to you? <laughs> Find the ruins. Reinhold's retreat. Hidden there. You must... <laughs> no! Just... gone. A word, if you will, my friend. I believe I can be of help. Reinhold's retreat? Is that truly what she said? I thought my ears had conspired to fill my mind with the foulest lies. But if you heard the same... Perhaps I was meant to be here for reasons other than just stopping Tarish Z. Another of Tarish Z's vainglorious projects. He desperately sought the place and the treasure it was rumored to contain. It surprises me that one as young as Hara would know of it. Even in my time, it was barely more than myth. We did. It didn't contain what Tarash Z hoped for, so he ordered it buried out of spite. It should be directly below us if memory serves. I noted some Nedic remnants jutting from a nearby lake. I'm certain they're part of Reinhold's retreat. I'm not sure. Tarash Z had the place sealed and buried. The original entrance is unreachable. Kelman may be of some assistance to us there. If his courage holds, let's regroup at the lake and see what we can discern. I'll find Kelman and meet you at the lake. Nazdura, come. There's nothing more we can do for Hara here. There's definitely something still active here. I can feel the magic of pulsing in these stones. Strange. I've seen these ruins jutting from the waters before. They always seemed so... ordinary. But now, they're practically humming with energy, and I sense... What is that? My gods, yes! It's some kind of entrance! There's only one explanation I can think of, and it's not exactly reassuring. If someone found the entrance before us and activated it, the residual energy would continue to emanate for a while after. If we go inside, we won't be alone. Right. And we mustn't let her down no matter how terrifying the task. It looks like the energy has its source at these sconces. I see nothing that can be done to activate this one, but it might be worth looking at the others. Fancy a swim?
there, in the center. A passage must have opened below the water. Quickly, dive to the passageway. We'll follow behind you. On your guard, friends. Enemies lie in wait ahead. Scaled court by the looks of them. The Apex Stone is ours. The thief will fall under my master's sway, and none will be left to stand against us. that the thief stone has been hidden here all along? There, the Apex Stone. What are they doing to it? Is this how they corrupt the stones and enslave the Guardians? Look, it's Hara. Why would they have her here? We have to find a way to free her. How do we stop it? was protected by ethereal power. A trap set by a thief for a... a thief?
not fall here. I wore the guise of Hara because I didn't know who to trust. But neither could I rest while the Serpent preyed on the other Guardians. I'm sorry. The Serpent is a deceiver by nature. I couldn't be sure. When the other Guardians fell, I had to react quickly. I suspected that the Serpent was using our Apex Stones against us so I secreted mine to this ruin for safekeeping. The Serpent is cunning, but he has his blind spots. He does not value the strength or cleverness of mortals. Taking the form of Hara, a mortal, allowed me to find champions, like you, to join the fight against the Serpent while eluding his gaze. You should return to Belkarth. There is still much to do, if we're to free the other Guardians and stop the Serpent. But I'm done hiding. The Stargazers deserve to know the truth. I can transport you back to the city if you wish. I can't thank you enough. You trusted me, even when I'd failed to show the same trust in you. I won't make that mistake again. From here forward, we must work together closely if we're to defeat the Serpent. We've sent the Serpent reeling, but he will strike again. We need to use this time to prepare our forces and free the Mage and the Warrior. The Serpent can only be defeated through the combined efforts of all three Guardians. Do. This just won't do at all. You. My sister Gabrielle told me about you. She said danger doesn't phase you. Good. See that large staff sticking out of the ground? It's emitting magical energy at unprecedented levels. If we don't stop it, it'll explode. Some sort of celestial object. A few of the locals call it the Mage's Staff. They say it fell from above just before the constellations vanished. It's extremely volatile, and every magic-addicted sorcerer and Atronach in the region is drawn to it. We need to find a way inside, to the core, but getting in will require an unprecedented amount of magical energy. When the staff hit, pieces broke off into elemental shards. Take these focusing crystals. Each one can absorb one type of elemental infusion from a shard. Bring one infusion of each type to me, and I'll combine them to open a portal into the staff. Be warned, though. The spell fiends are drawn to the elemental shards. You will be unable to harvest an elemental infusion from a shard until the spell fiends are defeated. After the fiends are dead, you will only have a brief window in which to harvest the elemental infusion. 
quickly. If the staff explodes, it has enough power to turn all of Kraglorn into a crater. Collect all three elemental infusions and bring them to me. Then we can force our way into the staff and stop the explosion. I know. We aren't very much alike. But as much as it pains me to admit it, under that vapid exterior is a very capable mage. I was in Craglorn when this thing hit, so the Mages Guild sent me to investigate. Magic foci to receive each element. Overloading. Now, how are we going to get over there?
doing here? No one is supposed to enter here. Are you another of the serpent slaves? Go away! these floating rocks. I read a story once about Archmage Shalador fashioning a bridge out of pieces of shattered glass. This requires much less effort. Hmm. It looks like I'll be able to contain the core once these crystals are disconnected. The core is releasing a lot of magicka. We need to be careful, especially when I disconnect the crystals. Magicka will pour out when I disconnect the crystal. You'll need to defend me, or we won't be able to finish. did it. We sealed the core. Give me a minute to catch my breath. All right. All better. Let's get going. You've done well. Craglorn is safe for now. I will remain behind in case this place becomes unstable again. I hope not. But we can never be too cautious. In the meantime, I will take samples of the staff to the Mage's Guild for study. And who might you be? I suppose you're wanting to go into the Archive. Great. Another raiding party. Where in Oblivion did Brulo get to? The locals call this tower the Aetherian Archive. It was built thousands of years ago, and sealed until crisis struck Craglorn. But the Undaunted and I heard rumors that its door had opened. We Undaunted agreed to meet here, climb the Archive. In the belly of a dragon? Lost in some hollow? You never know with the Undaunted. We had agreed to meet here at this tower in Craglorn, but we are easily distracted. Brave and adventurous, but easily distracted. Maybe Brulo found a tavern. Be careful if you're going upstairs. These mages are running experiments, and I met several of them a couple floors up, who didn't take kindly to visitors. If I had more allies, I'd have given them Moloch's fury. If only Brulo would get here. So many distractions of late. 
The learned one does not wish to be disturbed. You would do well to stay away from the upper floors. Isn't it magnificent? We first mages occupied it years and years ago. It was here that we found the great source during the first era. The source of our magic also granted us long life. The learned one destroyed it when she arrived, and we know not why. But I don't despair as I would have in the past. For the learned one is magic incarnate, greater even than the grand source. She is magic incarnate. The great source paled in the face of her power, and in her presence, it shattered. Oh, it was the greatest day of our lives. The learned one has worked magic within these walls like no spell that has ever been achieved before. We three in this chamber are the only first mages who value our lives over our magic. Anirwen and Ariel are too ashamed to admit it, but I have seen them weep in the night to the sound of the learned one's work on the upper floors. Upstairs, worshipping the learned one more fervently than the Imperials do the Divines, I cannot blame them, though I cannot bring myself to follow. The learned one ravages the upper floors daily. Not all of her worshippers make it out alive. Turn back! I will not be responsible for your deaths. to this archive to contain the damage I could cause. My loss of control blasted all that you see into terrible existence. Why do you persist? Turn back!
I see you return, friend. Do you return victorious? Have you made it to the top of the Aetherian Archive? You've outdone us, friend. You've explored the Aetherian Archive before the Undaunted. This doesn't happen often, but we'd like to give you something special to commemorate your feat. What's this? Another motley band come to steal my glory? You don't have the guts. I'm with the Undaunted. All newcomers. To explore Hellra Citadel up ahead. My fledgling allies disappeared inside while I was stocking provisions. Probably thought it was funny to cut me out of the glory. It wasn't. And they never returned. Something awakened in the Citadel, or took residence. We Undaunted decided to find out what, and I still mean to. Whatever it is, it's fierce. Undaunted don't just disappear. I welcome such a foe. Keep a note on you if you're going out there. Right where you would like to be buried. I'll do my best to carry your body there if I find it. What? An army of Undaunted vanished out there! I'm not morbid! I'm a realist! It's been silent since the Yokudans invaded back in the First Era. Supposedly built during that time. Until recently, that door behind you was shut. Either by sorcery or craftsmanship. None could best it. The door opened. Many came. Some Red Guards grabbed stones from this chamber, claiming pieces of their ancestral home. But something out there started grabbing the Red Guards and Scholars, even members of the Undaunted. The warrior and his army of old Yakuda claim the citadel of Helra. Leave and live. Trespass and die. You have been warned. Many of them. Beware the horn. Shahai of a first rank Onsei sank Yakuda. This warrior Shahai is beyond first rank. Look upon the blade and tremble!
sword will claim his neck. The serpent has been confined to his apex stone, and the natural order is restored. But his attention will turn elsewhere. We should depart. Surprisingly efficient for a thief and a mage. Fall in line behind me. I will take charge from here. How gracious of you. We should depart. My friend, you're victorious. I hope Helros Citadel was fierce enough for you. You've outdone us, friend. You've reached the heart of this Citadel before the Undaunted. This doesn't happen often, but we'd like to give you something special to commemorate your feat. We haven't met yet, but I'm aware of your accomplishments. You are a useful person to know. Alas, I am but a humble servant of my patron. She is a far more useful person to know than I. Regent Cassipio? She has plans for the Scaled Court. Plans that conflict with those of the Serpent. But my patron can explain the details when you meet her. I last spoke with her at the old farm near Dragonstar. Try there. If she departed, I'm certain she left word of her travels. You and I have a common enemy, the Serpent and his Scaled Court. If you will stay your hand and hear what I have to say, I can offer you a unique opportunity to see this enemy slain. Will you listen to my offer? Despite my position in the Scaled Court, I've grown wary of the Serpent. I realize now that we don't have the same goals. I want to make the world better. The Serpent just wants to destroy it and start over. Will you help me stop the Scaled Court? I've seen you in action. You're my best hope for stopping the Manticoras. Unnatural beasts. Did you know the Court created them? The creation process starts in Fearfang's Cavern. There, we must destroy the Scorpion Matron and her nests. I'll accompany you to the Scorpion Matron's den, and help you destroy the creature and its nests. Hopefully, my disguise will hide my identity. I prefer not to kill any more of the Scaled Court than absolutely necessary. The Court create the horrible beasts in special spawning pools. They use an alchemical process to combine the traits of various predators, including the Scorpion Matron and her brood. The Serpent lied to me. The Scaled Court is no longer working toward the changes that first attracted me to its ranks. And the more I learn of the Serpent's true plans, the more I feel betrayed. You want specifics? Very well. Look at the state of our world. An endless war, threats from oblivion, an outdated order that fails us at every turn. The Serpent promised a change, but I can't support his increasingly destructive methods. One does not simply quit the Scaled Court, especially not someone of my rank. Besides, the best way for me to stop the Serpent's plans is to continue to attack them from within. I can't openly oppose them and hope to succeed. For that, I need you.
these scorpions were specifically selected for their compatibility with the Manticoras. With the matron slain and her nests destroyed, this portion of the process can't be duplicated. I wouldn't have been able to do this without your help. Isn't there always? The next component in the creation of the Manticoras comes from a specially bred Wamasu. Find the Wamasu cave and kill the egg bearer, then destroy its eggs. That will further hamper the process. I'll wait for you near Dragonstar. The Serpent and his scaled court would destroy Dragonstar. Everything. These people mean nothing to him. And if they discover my betrayal, they will dispatch me without hesitation. But tell me, have you dealt with the Wamasu Eggbearer? Then it's time. Now we can deal with the final component in the process and destroy the progenitor Manticora. My seneschal, Little Leaf, has assured me that we'll find them both in the Serpent's Nest. Are you ready to proceed? The Court Alchemists created the progenitor Manticora to breed true, without the need for further alchemical manipulation. Be warned, it's a fearsome creature. It won't surrender willingly to spell or blade. Haven't you guessed? The court uses the most deadly predators to create the Manticoras, and there are few predators more dangerous than men and myrrh. Now, let's rescue the prisoners and remove this corrupt creation from the face of Nern. Little Leaf? She is my companion, my confidant. We've been together since before the Serpent called us and the Scaled Court was formed. She would do anything I asked, as I would for her. But enough of this. We still have a task in front of us.
slay the progenitor and its handlers, then check on the prisoners. If any remain alive, release them. Toss us in that disgusting pool with that horrible beast. Thank you for rescuing us. Very happy not to be dead right now. Present yourself, Regent Boward. The Manticora project is at an end. Regent Cassipia? What is the meaning of this? Watch your tone, Regent. Your abomination is dead. Will you abandon the Serpent and join me? Abandon the Serpent? I would never do that. Very well, Boward. Join your abomination in oblivion. None of these deaths would have been necessary if the Serpent hadn't lied to me. Thank you for helping me in this matter. Now, I need to make sure these spawning pools can't be used again. And I should collect a few of the Manticora remains. I need to study them so I can continue to oppose the Serpent's horrid plans. Your help in this task was invaluable. Would you be willing to help me deal another defeat to the Serpent's schemes? Many regions serve the Scaled Court. That's why things occur within its coils that aren't under my control. For example, the Iron Orcs are raising an army. I sent my Seneschal, Little Leaf, to stop their efforts. Perhaps you could lend her a hand. Little Leaf should be somewhere along the road, just beyond the Northeast Passage. Let her know I sent you, and she'll trust you implicitly. She has a very trusting soul. Let's not start something we'll both regret. I could use some help, and you're going to want to hear what I have to say. Cassie sent you? Well, why didn't you say so? I'm so lucky that the Regent looks out for me. All right, we've got a lot of work to do. Have you ever tried to change an Iron Orc's mind? Oh, this is going to be so much fun! We need to stop the Iron Orcs. They're building an army of trolls. Regent Cassipia sent me to convince them to disband the army, but they took my gold and tossed me out. Now that you're here, I have a better plan. You're my better plan. Between my cheerful optimism and your proclivity for violence, there's no way we can lose. Anyway, you'll help, right? Meet me in the ruined tower on the nearby hill. 
The Iron Orcs have figured out a way to turn a trollop of trolls into an army. It involves training, armor, and magical runes carved right into their skin. I'll meet you in Ilfog's Undertower, and we can deal with the troll trainer first. Well, it's inside the ruins beneath the old tower. It stinks down there. That's what happens when you shove trolls and iron orcs into an enclosed space. Anyway, Ilfog uses the ruins as a training arena for the trolls. Again, well, away with you! Oh well, I tried. The better plan it is. I wish there had been another way. Poor stubborn Ilfog. They should have taken the gold. Good point. What was I thinking? We're going to have to do a lot more to disband the troll army. I guess I need to go talk to Runescriber Kulth, Armorer Uthic, and maybe even Exarch Bradas. You're right. I know you're right. That doesn't make it any easier. Still, I have a mission, and if violence is the only way to complete it, then violence it is. The Valley of Scars. And yes, the place is as delightful as it sounds. It's north of here. You can't miss it. I'll meet you there. Runescriber Kulf is a true artist. His intricate designs are so beautiful, and powerful too. He adds Nurncrux dust to his ink and carves the runes right into a troll's flesh. Says it boosts the magic. He works on the west side of the valley. Armorer Uthic crafts the armor worn by the trolls and the Welwas. It's not ordinary armor either. Uthic adds Nurncrux dust to make her armor tougher and more powerful. Her forge is on the east side of the valley. Exarch Bradath is the Iron Orc Chief, but he's also a ranking member of the Scale Cult. That's why he has the great honorific, the Ophidian Exarch of Undulating Destruction. Whew, wish I had a title like that. I'm sure he's in the valley somewhere.
Now that you're here, let's go take care of that rune scribe and the armorer. Brother. His throne room is deep inside the mountain, behind the ostentatious door to the north. he did it. He was imbuing the trolls with pure nuncrux, fusing the armor and the runes into a powerful hole. I wonder what would happen if one of the mortal races was subjected to the process. Right. Of course. Cassie asked me to bring some of the altered nuncrux to her, so she can study it. I'll stay here and collect what I need. But thanks. I couldn't have completed my mission without you. The great warrior, Titus, seeks your counsel. The great warrior paces about outside the observatory in Belka. Like a caged tiger he is. He urged me to find you and ask you to hurry. I fear something dreadful is about to take place.
Ah, uh, I see my message reached you. Have you encountered Kelman in your travels by any chance? The thief reported a magical disturbance around Skyreach. Kelman went in search of an old Mage's Guild associate working in the area. He has yet to return. Divines! If Kelman and this mage of his are deep in their cups in Dragonstar... Well, it can't be helped. And I can't wait any longer. The thief prepares a ritual to locate the source of the disturbance. But we need another participant. And once again, you offer aid before I need to ask. Thank you. Meet me at the Howling Sepulchres to the north. The ancient needs will regard us as intruders, so be wary. Perhaps we'll even run into Kelman along the way. The thief needs to perform the ritual at a site within the Howling Sepulchres. Go north and follow the path into the hills to the cave we seek. Just stay alert. Undead needs patrol the place, and they have no regard for visitors, living or dead. You mean, besides helping the thief deal with scaled court cultists and iron orc ruffians? Not much. I've been keeping company with Kelman, learning what I can about this age. And when I can, I try to find a way to return to my own time. Wouldn't you? I miss the familiar sights and sounds. The people I know and love. The places that hold meaning to me. This time is... Not mine. But you don't want to hear an old soldier complain. We have work to do. Hold a moment, my lady. Let me assist you. Light the fires on the six pedestals. The flames will not burn long, so be quick. complete. I can now locate the source of the magical disturbance. Kelman, can you still do that trick with the dead bugs? That was my favorite. Dear Kelman is here to stop us, Little Leaf, not to perform tricks for your amusement. He fears the power I'll wield as the exalted viper. This is madness, Cassipia. What are you thinking? No mortal can contain the power of a constellation. You never had any ambition, Kelman. No vision. When I become the Serpent's equal, with the power of a Celestial at my command, I can make this world a better place. By destroying Belkarth? How does that make the world a better place? Little Leaf, surely you don't support Cassipia's mad dream? That's enough, you old drunk. Belkarth represents what's wrong with the current age. Once I destroy it, I can finally begin creating a new and better world. No, Cassipia. I won't let you do this. Not Cassipia, dear Kelman. I am the Exalted Viper. Kelman! No!
The scaled court's venomous leader killed poor Kelman without remorse or hesitation. But the ritual worked. I know where to find her. Lothna Caverns. Indeed? And they still live. Why didn't you destroy them when you had the chance? Oppose the serpent? This Cassipia wants to replace the serpent. But what's past is past. Did you notice anything? Did Cassipia collect any unusual components? The Nurncrux. I fear this Cassipia may have discovered a secret I thought lost with the ancient needs. The threat she presents is greater than I anticipated. We must hurry to Lothna Caverns. This would be celestial before she transforms. the triggers to summon the bridge. Regent Cassipia, you must not continue upon this dangerous path. No, you don't understand. Leave us alone and everything will be fine. Thank <laughs> you. 
Regent Cassipia reached for powers that were not hers to acquire. And so we did. Cassipia and Little Leaf's deaths were regrettable, but they were a necessary evil in our efforts to save Craglorn. You have provided another great service to the Guardian Celestials. For that, you have my gratitude. Mortal, the Celestial Guardian has one more obligation for you to fulfill. My champion, Titus, who I called across the sands of time in my moment of need, is fading. His mortal mind can't deal with the shift in his reality. The longer he remains here, the more likely he will lose all that he is. If only it were that simple. As Titus loses parts of himself, his connection to me is severed. I can no longer reach him with my blessing. Titus has done everything I asked of him. It is time to send him home. Will you help him remember who he is? I knew I could count on you. I last saw Titus in the north, searching for his wife's grave. As his mind slips away, he fights to hold on to it. It pains him to accept that all he knew is dead and gone, yet he strives to keep the memories alive. The Serpent's corruption was insidious. By the time I realized what was happening to my Apex Stone, I was too weak to fight back. But I was able to call my champion to me. Titus is valiant, and he knows this region well. I knew he would be an asset. The Serpent forced me to summon Taresh Z and his army, using our connection to infiltrate their minds. I summoned Titus before the Serpent completed his control over me. It was my last free act, and it allowed Titus to remain true to his own heart. Such complex and powerful magic always contains an element of risk. But it was never my intention to harm Titus. Now I want to make things right. Help restore Titus's memories and his connection to me. I can send him back where he belongs. Now is not the time, my friend. I mean you no ill will, but if you don't leave me to my thoughts, I will draw steel against you. I came here to remember her. I have to remember her. I've lost everything else. I can't lose her as well. The darkness that shrouds Titus's mind blocks my connection to him. Since you touched my Apex Stone, I can still communicate with you. You consider Titus to be a friend. Are you ready to help him? Once there was a blade of legend called Warsworn, wielded by my greatest champions. It has been without a true consort for far too long. We must change that. Currently, an iron orc carries the blade like a trophy, even though he cannot wield it. Warsworn can do many things in the hands of one worthy to wield it. Recover the blade and give it to Titus. It will remind Titus of who he is and restore his connection to me. Then I can send Titus home. The blade resides in the ruins to the southwest, while the Iron Orc, Scarath of the Mini, is not worthy of Warsworn. He is a powerful combatant. He collects trophies from his victims, will not give up the blade willingly. The blade will restore Titus to his true self, but time grows short. Already, I sense that Titus contemplates a warrior's death as a release from his torment. 
We cannot allow that. Titus still has many battles to win before his life comes to an end. It's good to see you again before the end, my friend. I was just saying one last farewell to my wife before I depart to find my final battle. This is a magnificent blade. I can feel its energy. It calls to me, just as the warrior once did. It feels right. As though I was meant to have it. Well then, in friendship, I hope you'll accept my old blade. Something to remember me by. Take up my blade, Titus Valerius. You have earned it. Let its might flow through you and remind you who and what you are. A warrior true. I feel stronger. My memories return. Celestial warrior, hear me. I have done all you have demanded. I have served faithfully. Now please, send me home. You are my champion, Titus, in whom I am well pleased. Hold tightly to the blade. It will travel with you and serve you well in your own time. My comrades, my friends, never have I fought beside more noble heroes. This may be farewell. But I will not forget you. Fight on, and never let your values falter. With you, I know the future is in capable hands. Larissa, beloved, my part in this war is over. I'm coming home. Do not fear. The story of Titus Valerius recounts one of the greatest warriors to ever walk the surface of Tamriel. His achievements echo even into the future. Perhaps the same will be true of you. cities to dust, devour your glittering towers and primeval growth! To oblivion with a lot of you and your damned serpent! You, Milksop! Turak and his undaunted need you. Oh, Damriel needs you. Warn the guilds, the alliances, warn everybody! Tree spirit. It could speak. Had a face from a fever dream. It leads an entire army of cultists in the caverns ahead. It slaughtered us. Showed us. Showed us a vision of what it plans to do to all of Tamriel. A vision of the future. A future where that spirit escapes these caverns and runs rampant across the continent. I saw the cities of Temriel shattered and overgrown. That spirit wants us dead. Men, Mir, Khajiit, 
It doesn't give a damn. Turok was going to dare you to do it. You think I can undaunt it? Oh, you're crazy. Either fits. That spirit. The gazers called it a celestial serpent. Will wreak havoc if it ever escapes these caverns. You cannot allow that to happen. Must be a cowardly fighter's guild in these parts, because the stargazers begged Turok to come with them, to find and dispatch scaled court in the highlands. Turok found them all right. Too many of them. There's a small army in the caverns ahead. What do you want? Have you fools come to your senses? Ready to set me free? Uh, the master will do it himself after he peels the skin off you. He will not suffer a member of his court humiliated like this. I will not suffer it! You people have no idea what's coming. How small you truly are. The stargazers have it so wrong. You think the master wants to rule you? You think there's a place for you maggots in his kingdom? <laughs> You're all dead! We freed him. He wouldn't be here but for us, and he knows our worth. When his work is done, we will descend with him to his den, his new kingdom. Tamriel will return to its rightful state. He hates you. He hates all of you. More than anything in this world. More than the celestial guardians who stand in his way. But don't take my word for it. You can meet him yourself. Through those doors. These caverns make up the Sanctum Ophidia. And my brothers and sisters will give their lives before they let you near its secrets. Though it's likely you'll die first. Just ask these fools. this new seal with the blood of a thousand mortals. He will never return to this plane, but his attention will wander elsewhere. He should depart. By the moons! What happened here? The Apex Stone! It sealed the serpent away! Finally, the serpent defeated. He killed so many of the others, 
wrought such destruction on this region. I didn't think I would live to see it happen. The battle against the Scaled Court will continue, but this was the one place in Craglawn the Serpent could be contained. You accomplished wonders today. Turek wanted me to give this to you. Don't worry, it's not diseased, I think. The Serpent's Stone. I never thought I'd live to see it. It's huge. Turok has seen bigger. It's a marvel of Medic sorcery. Imagine the literal essence of all our troubles in Craglorn trapped in one place. A miracle stone. Ah, Turok's stones are an equal miracle. Admittedly, not Medic. You're disgusting. Turok tries. 